Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another Maxwell Live tutorial. This one's on saving sub patches, um, so you can just call them up just like you would any other object that comes stock with uh, Max for Live uh, or Max just in general, I guess. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to need is a sub patch, and um, I'm going to show you a useful sub patch, which is the full screen toggle switch. So I want to use the escape key on my keyboard to toggle between the full, uh, full screen window and um, the regular size window on the side over here. So I've got jit.window here. Actually, let's go ahead and just start all over again. So I'm going to type n and then jit.window. Display data in a window and my window shows up great. Now I want to be able to toggle between the full screen and this window here on the side. So what I need to do is N key to report the key press and then N cell 27 and that's the escape key and uh, I just did a tutorial early, earlier today about how to find which cell number it, um, for each key on the keyboard so you can go check that out if you're curious about that I suggest you do and then I need a toggle switch and I'm gonna connect those and then I just need a message and by hit N for message and then hit full screen. Yeah, that's the message. And then on dollar sign one. Dollar sign one. Cool. And then I connect it to this. And then I connect this to this. And then I lock it down. Now if I hit the escape key, it should toggle between full screen. Yep, full screen, not full screen. Cool. So the next thing I'd want to do is make a sub patch here and I highlight everything and control shift P or excuse me control shift E I'm sorry about that control shift E to give it a sub patch and then I would want to name this sub patch um, full screen full screen sweet and now I lock and double click on the patch to open the patch view. And now when I come in here, when I hit um, Control Shift P before, it added to presentation. I want to re undo that. So Control Shift P. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Right click, uh, remove from present. Control Alt P would be how to undo that. Excuse me, I didn't know that off the top of my head, but now we all do. So that's cool. Um, the next thing I need to do is I need to save this preset as a patch in the file path of the search engine inside of Max. Now that sounds complicated, but it's really not. And the way we can find that out is come to Options and File Preferences. And then it has two um, paths. We got patches and uh, examples. So I want to click on patches and then come down here, reveal and explore. And it shows me the file path. So I'm going to go to computer, local C, program files, cycling 74, max 6.1, and then I'm going to come into patches. And that's where um, I'm going to save it in templates. Okay? I've already done that, so I'm actually going to delete this because I want to redo it. So I want to go to Program Files, Cycling 74, Max 6.1, Patches, Templates. That's where I want to save it. So I want to come back into File, uh, nope, I want to close out of File Preferences. And now that I have my patcher here, I want to go to File, Save As, Max Pat, Perfect. And I want to go to Computer, C, Program Files, Cycling 74, 6.1 patches templates and now I want to save uh, save it as full screen dot max pat perfect and it, it's gonna ask me um, oh I have to I don't have permission right now so a workaround for that would be to save it to the desktop um, obviously you want to go in and add permission so you don't have to do it this way every time but this is a workaround for us right now in the tutorial so um, I saved it to the desktop and now I have to go to the desktop find it and then put it in there because now it will ask me if I want to put it in anyway so cycling 74 max 
patches, templates, and now drop it in here. You will need permission. Continue. Yes. Perfect. Now it's in there. And now let me show you what's happened here. If we come back into Max and I unlock this and I delete this now. Um, if I come in and just type N like I want any other object and type in full screen without the P, just the full screen, the name of the patch, and hit enter, it gives me uh, the patcher. So it says full screen now and I can connect that to the window and if I lock it down I can still hit escape and come in and out of full screen and if I double click here it will open it up and it will show me so that's pretty sweet and very useful if you ask me um, now I'll never have to redo that full screen patcher again and uh, as you start making some useful things like pan pots or delay lines and things of this nature with patchers inside of patchers inside of sub patchers uh, it's much easier just to do one the right way save it and just keep calling that patch and it's so cool that it's going to remember that all I have to do is remember the name that I've given it anyway um, I hope that helps and uh, we'll see you next time